in a foreign floor. I wanna run up the money and love with the music I do it with passion. Yeah. You see me thumbing through hundreds for all this designer and love with the fashion. Yeah. I'm gonna walk with the money, they calling me my phone feeling like Jackson. Hi Chow, what is going on guys? Until we're back with another banger video in today's video, as you can tell by the title. You're probably like, what even is this? Well, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have got a sneak peek about of it about you know a couple weeks ago. But basically, yes, as you can tell, Ask Souls episode one, and then whatever else is in the title from the questions. How is this series gonna work? So the first episode was on on my Instagram just because I didn't announce this to you guys yet on camera and I wanted to wait for the first episode. So from here on out to get your questions answered in the videos, you could comment under any video I post whenever you have a question, this, that, and you want me to answer it, put ask souls and then like the two like dot thing, whatever that's called, semicolon, it's not semicolon, but it's like, you know, ask souls and then put your question so that way I know it's for this video and I will gladly answer it in episode two, episode three, episode four, blah, blah, blah. So if you want to be in the next episode, I'll put up the screenshots of each question. You can comment under this video. You can comment under any video you see me post within the next week and you can just always, whenever you have a question, just put ask souls, the two dots, and just write your question and it will be, most likely, it might be featured, if it's a good question, it will be featured in this video obviously episode one is just a little bit different because we had a we had to start off somewhere so yeah if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button because we post monday wednesday friday saturday which is four times a week which is probably better than your favorite youtube you know i'm a college student i'm over here posting four times a week come on so obviously normally it would be a screenshot of the youtube comment section and like be your comment but i went on instagram this time and i asked i asked for questions on instagram yeah, episode one let's get it leave a like on this video get this video to 500 likes if you had the option to have either more clothes or shoes in your closet, which one are you picking? Mmm, this is tough. Would I have, all right, so so I'm, it's a very vague question. So if you had the option to have either more clothes or shoes in your closet, if I have all these shoes right here, I'd be chilling, I'm good. I don't need that, so I guess clothes. But if I'm starting from scratch, probably more shoes than clothes. Because I can get like simple outfits, but like I don't know, I'm a shoe person. I like shoes. I like shoes a lot. I go, I go to school for shoes, for sneaker design. What's your least favorite shoe in your collection? I like all my shoes. My least favorite sneaker is probably. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna blow a lot of you away. You see my blazers down there? Not the yellow ones. The blue ones. Something about them. I know that blazers. I remember my yellow ones. Like I had to wear them a couple times, but I've worn my blue ones three, four, five times, and they keep giving me blisters, and I'm just like. Bro, my yellow ones never do did that. So I guess that's my least favorite right now. And just because of just, I don't know. I guess I got to keep wearing them, try to break them in more. But I'm low-key getting annoyed at them. I'm about to freaking get rid of them. Favorite Jordan model? Jordan 1, Jordan 4, Jordan 5, Jordan 11, and Jordan 3. Not that order, but yeah. Jordan 1 is my favorite, though. Most underrated sneaker? Are we talking ever? Like, that's, that's like, again, these are vague questions. I don't really know. So I'm going to just say... Most underrated Jordan is the Jordan 2. I feel like that sneaker gets way too much hate. Favorite place to get jeans. Now, I don't really get jeans. Like, I don't have any jeans. I actually need to start getting jeans. But I would definitely say, like, I don't know, to be honest. I got mine from, I got the only, I only like two pairs of jeans. I would say Cotton On, Urban Outfitters. It's just that these are very expensive jeans. Like, so, V5. V5, like, like foreign and them. Um, huge shout out to Foreign, Zay, Trio, those are all my brothers, shout out to all of them, they always show me love, much love to all of them. But yeah, I don't think they're, they're not going by V5 anymore, I don't know what their new team name is, I don't think they announced it yet, but yeah, I mean definitely in the future I would definitely be down to be part of, I've talked to Foreign about it. Would you ever make videos on your footwear and accessories creations like step by step? Yes, this is actually something I was really excited to do, because in case you guys don't know, I say it a lot, but I still get questions, what's, what's your major in college, what classes do you take at FIT? It's my major, it's not the classes I take, it's my major. Cause I like people like, oh, what class is that? Like, it's not a class, like it's my major. It's like mandatory class. Like basically I go to school for footwear and accessory design. That's my major. And I do footwear, handbags, belts, all that stuff. So the classes that I'm taking right now, which I really wanted to film, I was really excited to do in person, but online I just really can't, like it's just not the same as it would be in person. But I'm gonna definitely do, you know, once we start making the sneaker, cause we've been making shoes and stuff, like women's shoes and stuff like that. Like I have them over there and stuff. So I definitely wanna start doing me making my actual sneakers, which I'm gonna do very soon. So stay tuned for that video. Hopefully it'll be like, you know, when does this video come out? This video comes out like end of October. 
definitely by end of November, I would say you should see a video about me making a sneaker. But I definitely, you know, once we start going back to school, like actually in school, you'll definitely see a bunch of videos about like create like my creations and stuff and all of that. So yeah, stay tuned for that. I'm telling you guys, the channel is only gonna go crazier, and the school that I'm going to is definitely gonna allow the school that I'm in right now is definitely gonna allow me to, you know, branch out my youtube just a little bit if that makes sense like with the sneaker stuff because i can only do so much with this like these type of sneakers but me making sneakers i feel like that's a dope dope videos and stuff what's the plan do you want to have your own brand what are some names you would name it so i get this question a lot too it's like oh why like what are you gonna do blah 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 so i want to be there's two things it's either or i don't either or i'm fine with as long as i'm happy that's all that matters happy happiness is key sneaker head sneaker designer at nike would be like the ultimate goal like a head sneaker designer at night like that would be like that would be like crazy like you know maybe working with jordan brand like that would be crazy. like designing jordans like stuff like that like i don't know just uh, probably designing nikes though because you can't really do you can't really design jordans like you just make new colorways if that makes sense unless you're making like the 35s 36 36 like you know what i'm saying but definitely a head sneaker designer at nike or me and will have always wanted to make our own brand where we would do everything like sneakers, obviously, clothes, that stuff. And I feel like, you know, learning the sneaker part of it. So maybe, you know, maybe, maybe something like that. I'm not gonna tell y'all the brand name, but we have a brand name and a logo actually, but that's way down. Like, don't even start thinking. That's not for like, af that's like after college stuff. Like that's not anywhere soon. What is the difference between fashion and drip? <sighs> There's a lot of controversy with fashion and drip drip is just something it's like calm it's kind of like how i dress like i just kind of be dressing in drip fashion is like the more out there stuff if that makes sense at least in my opinion this is this is how i look at it drip is just like you know a calm fit i got a flannel hoodie on some cargos and some jordan ones like that's like that's like drip that's not fashion that's just like what everybody does it's just like their calm drip it's just like you know cozy cozy fits that's basically what i say fashion is like next level like you do like you're unique you're doing different things like it's just diff like i don't know how to explain it like when you see something you could like if i saw a picture right now if you guys sent me pictures and be like all right which one's fashion which one's drip i could tell you which one's fashion and which one's drip if that makes sense do you think baggy things is what is in style right now 100 percent, 100 percent. um is it being overplayed i feel like that's a question i'm definitely gonna see a lot in here like oh the style right now blah blah i feel like everybody recently like i'm not gonna lie i've been in this for a minute i've been doing this since 20 like i've been just making youtube since 2016 but i've also been in the sneaker culture and the sneaker game for pff, as long as i can remember it's literally since sixth grade middle school before that fifth grade elementary school so like that's how crazy that's how like long i've been in this I'm a, I'm a college freshman in 2020 and it's just crazy to see how much people have just hopped on to and this is not a bad thing i'm not saying this in a bad way because hey this, the, uh, the sneaker culture, streetwear culture, all that stuff is so dope. Like, I think it's so cool. I'm, I'm in love with it. Like, that's like my favorite thing. Like, that's what I live for. There's definitely way more people. And I feel like that's the reason why people are saying like, oh, you know, graphic tees are getting overplayed. Oh, cargos are getting overplayed. It's just that there's so many people now on this wave and TikTok has not helped at all. I mean, TikTok, help. it depends how you look at it. Cause I see where people are coming from where they're like, they're kind of like gatekeeping in a way, if that makes sense. But I don't know. I think it's cool. Um, you know, do what you want. I saw another question too. I don't know the exact wording of it, but it was like, it's like, how do you feel like everybody like? It's basically like the same question, like dressing the same, but like, I don't. You just gotta, you gotta be able to put your own twist on it, if that makes sense. Like something just a little bit different. Like yeah, or you can just make a nice fit. Again, that's again, that's the difference between drip and fashion too. If we want to bring it back to that, so yeah, it's just there's just so many layers to this. But listen, wear what you want. If you want to wear some, if you want to look like somebody else, do that. If you want to be your own person, do that. I'm kind of like. I definitely get inspiration from people, but I feel like I can make my clothes more like me, if that makes sense. I don't know. Go follow the Instagram at Paul Dassels. What's someone you say that had a big impact on your life and your fashion? I just, damn, that was deep. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bring specific people into it because like that's like you, you wouldn't like. I can't really like explain that to you. But I'll go. I'll say like celebrity type people will say. I guess big sean has had big sean that's why i, I like him so much has a big impact on my life in general because i listened to that man all throughout middle school and high school like he got me through literally like ev like a lot of a lot of artists did but big sean was that main one that did big sean j cole so like that's like that that like inspired me like kind of my work worth ethic in a way a fashion i don't really i take inspiration but at the same time i kind of just like i don't know 
my inspiration would definitely just be like like ASAP Rocky's a big inspiration like fashion wise like, I don't really know that's like I mean Travis is not like I don't know everybody be hyping hyping Travis definitely got fire fits don't get me wrong but like you know the memes if you were given ten thousand dollars but you had to spend it only on sneakers what pairs are you buying bro that is like, like I cannot even comprehend the ten think about how much ten thousand dollars let's just say let's just say like I definitely like would probably space it out a little bit i'd get like sneakers that are like you know like maybe in the 300s 400s you know how many sneakers i could get but let's just say a thousand dollar shoe so like that's ten thousand dollar shoes if you're gonna spend a thousand on each shoe if let's say the sneakers are 500 that's 2500 dollars shoes like that's a lot of money like i can't even just think about models like that but i would definitely put that ten thousand towards a two thousand dollar pair of um jordan one unc uh 1985 vintage pair where do you see yourself in one year? One year, so one year from now, this video comes out like October something. One year, obviously I'm still be in college, still be doing this, hopefully, probably in a different place, um, probably a different dorm or maybe in my own apartment. Probably probably just another dorm. I think I'm in a dorm my second year as well. So probably be in a different, apart a different apartment and hopefully 100,000 on YouTube. So that's my main goal on YouTube. I've wanted to hit 100,000 since I started. So yeah, the grind going crazy. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, all that stuff. Also, go check out the um the reaction channel. Link in the description to the reaction channel. Um, right under the Instagram link, you know, boom, just go in the description. Hit that reaction channel because if you want some more content of me, literally just come vibe with me. We literally just watch YouTube videos on there and yeah, daily uploads on there. So go check out the reaction channel. What's your all-time favorite shoe? Jordan Retro One UNC 1985. Yeah. Do you see yourself collecting shoes for the rest of your life? I mean. When you say it like that, it kind of sounds like, but like, yeah, definitely. I feel like I'm always going to buy, and this goes for everything too. This goes for shoes. This goes for just clothes. This goes for like, just like the things I love. Like I can, no matter how old I get, obviously my, my clothes style might change as I get older. Like I'm not going to be wearing freaking graphic tees when I'm 55 with cargo pants. Like that's not how it works, but yeah, definitely. It just depends on that. You know, as you get older, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm definitely going to be definitely collecting shoes though. You know, maybe. You know, I'm a big Lego fan. That's all I'm gonna say. I know I don't really put that on YouTube, but I'm a big Lego fan. If you guys remember the old room, I have OD Legos in there, so yeah, definitely like I don't know. I'll probably be collecting a lot of different things. Hopefully. What's on your Christmas list? Bro, <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> opinions on the new dunks that dropped lately, and where do you get your cargoes from? So first, opinion on the new dunks. I love I love some of the colorways, like the Michigan dunks that I have. Beautiful, one of my favorite sneakers I own at the moment. Um, some of the colorways cool. Um, I just wish that they would I don't want to say stop releasing so many But if they're gonna release so many different colorways at least make Bigger numbers because they be releasing like only like limited amounts of each colorway and I barely I never get any I never hit That's the the red the st. John's which I sold I hit on and the Michigan's Leanne hit on and that's the only reason I have them. I would not pay resale for a pair of dunks. I'm not paying four or five hundred dollars for a pair of dunks. I guess that's my opinion on it. I just wouldn't pay resale. If I get them for retail, they're dope. Dope sneaker. Love the dunks. Yeah. Where do I get my cargoes from? Um, just everywhere. Like I'd be going like thrift shops, cotton on, urban outfitters, ASOS, all those places. What would be your dream brand to collaborate with and why? Jordan brand. Jordan brand. Easily. Easily a pair of Jordans. I would definitely love to collaborate with Jordan. I feel like that's the ultimate goal. Or not even like, yeah, yeah. Well, all right, since he has collab, definitely collab. Like, I would probably, if we're being 100% honest, they probably wouldn't let me collaborate on a Jordan 1. So I would definitely go for a Jordan 2. And the reason I say this is because it was my first Jordan that I can remember. And that like, I bought when I when it was in like sixth grade. Actually, my grandma bought it. So huge shout out to Nanny. She bought it for me um, for Christmas. And it was a pair of Jordan 2s, the Varsity Red colorway. And I would probably just make my own Jordan too. Just, just like, it's just nostalgic reasons. I'd probably just collab on a pair of Jordan 2s just for, and y'all better cop them. But sneaker, like companies that I really want to hit me up, I've had Adidas send me a pair of shoes, which is like still crazy to this day. You see them right there in the back, the red. Adidas hit me up, can't thank them enough. Then we have um, Reebok hit me up. I don't know if y'all have seen that deal yet, but Reebok hit me up. Apparently they're sending me over a pair of shoes. So hopefully you guys saw that already. Hopefully you saw that two companies definitely new balance would be cool 
definitely Nike would be cool and Jordan like those like probably Nike and Jordan are like the two two companies that I really want to hit me up Nike's commented on one of my Instagram pictures but I really want Nike to hit me up like yo we want to send you over a shoe early blah 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 like that would be crazy when did you find out you wanted to go to FIT so I found out I wanted to go to FIT but I never really did anything for it, it was in like seventh grade because just like I never really liked like I'm gonna be honest I never really liked the idea of like real college like I wanted to do something fun like obviously you go to college for what you want to do but I didn't want to do something with you know like math science like I, I can't stand those classes like I don't want to I don't want to be in college for something that I'm gonna be bored to death for that I know I'm probably not even gonna use in the actual thing I'm going for so when I obviously sneakers were a big part of my life I was like I said to my mom, I was like, I want to be a sneaker designer. Looked into colleges, FIT right here in New York. It's the number one school for it. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to get into FIT. And then, boom. Do you watch anime? Now, I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie and sit here like I say, like I'm like a huge anime fan. But I've only watched, like, I want to get into it. It's just so, some things have so many episodes, so many storylines. But I've watched um, Seven Deadly Sins. It's like, I know, anime people are probably like, oh my God, everybody watches Seven Deadly Sins. All right, Seven Deadly Sins. Um, I used to watch Dragon Ball Z heavy if that counts um, But that was like when I was younger like like middle school type when it was on TV um, I've watched some Naruto Attack on Titan attack on Titans on Titans something like that, but I'm not like a I, I watch it Yeah, you said do you watch anime? I watch it. You know, I want to get more into it, but it's just so it's so overwhelming Would you rather wear Jordan ones or Air Force ones for the rest of your life? Is it see this is this is another vague question. Is it like do I only get one Air Force one? Like I have to pick one colorway or is it just like all the colorways? And then like, is it like one Jordan one or is it Jordan ones in all the colorways? Cause if it's Jordan ones in all the color, nah, actually that's tough. I don't know. I really don't know. I'd be, honestly, I'd be happy with either. Like that's like a evenly matched shoe in my opinion. Like those are two of the greatest sneakers of all time. Like I, that's tough. When would you do a meetup and where? Honestly, I'll probably never do a meetup unless I blow up like crazy, but I'll probably never really do a meetup. Um, but if I did do one, it would probably just be somewhere in the city. Just like, I like a park or something. Ever plan to move out of NY, NY, maybe not permanently, but for a couple of years? Now, this is this is a good question that you asked. I've lived in NY my whole life. Um, I can't really imagine living outside of New York, but after, after the four years at FIT, me and Will are gonna apply to a school in Oregon. It's, Ni it's basically Nike school, like Nike's school. So, if, but you apply, so if I do get into that, it's a two year program. It's for your um, masters. I don't know, whatever the two years after regular college is. So I would probably, if I did get into that, I'd live in Oregon for two years, but then I'd come back here. Obviously I'd come back here, like I need to come back here. Like I cannot not be here. Yeah, it would be Oregon, but that's like, yo, this is this is mad far from now. Don't even, don't even think about that. Like forget I said that, like that was just a little sneak peek into my future. Do you use crease protectors on your G Fazos? Do you use crease protectors on your Jordan 1s? I've never used crease protectors before. And people always ask me this, how do you, how do your forces not crease, blah, 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 Do you use force fields, this, that? No, I don't use anything. Like, don't be thinking about it too much. Just walk, just walk and don't crease your shoes. Like, it's not that hard. Pick the number one song off Detroit 2. Can't do that to me. I can't pick one song. That's tough. Top three favorite artists besides Big Sean. A Boogie, Young Boy, or J. Cole, J. Cole. Why don't you respond to DMs? I try to respond to DMs, but once I like accept it, like, so say I did accept your DM and I like wrote you back once and then you go to general, I never get notified that you guys DM me. So look, I literally go to my general right now and it's all unanswered things because I don't get notified in general, but I'm not gonna turn it to primary because then I'm gonna get all these notifications. So I'm sorry if I don't answer you, but I try, I appreciate all the support. Again, if you ever have a question, try to DM me. I will always try to answer. And yeah, I'm sorry if I don't though. I'm like, don't take it personally. Like I probably just did not see it. Like that's that's all it is. I just never saw it. That's all it is. Don't take it personally. Don't think I'm ignoring you, nothing like that. You gotta understand, like I'm not trying to say this to be cocky, but a lot of people are DMing me and I just don't I just don't see everybody all the time. But yeah, go follow me on Instagram at Paul.Souls. Again, leave any questions you have for Ask Souls episode two. Get this video to 500 likes. I'll be back with a new video. I think tomorrow and we out. So ch a pa. She say if you need me, then call me. I can't forget what the streets taught me, yeah When I look up, the sky has fallen, yeah I know the dark night days revolve around me, yeah She say it, boy,
for me whenever you don't hit back And I swear that I don't get that Honestly, no, I don't feel that